Hello. This is the Cambridge Flyers practice listening test. Test two. Part one. Listen and look. There is one example. It's interesting to see your office, Mom, but I don't know anyone here. Oh well, that's Richard over there in the corner. He's drinking a cup of coffee. Is he the man who's wearing a blue sweater? Yes, that's him. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Who's that woman? Where? She's putting something in the bin. Oh yes, that's Sarah. Ah,、oh, that looks better. I like a tidy office. And that's my friend Betty. Where? What's she doing? Her scissors have fallen on the floor, and she's picking them up. Oh yes, I can see her. That's William over there. The man who's working on the computer. Yes, the man in the green shirt. His job looks interesting. Who's that talking on the telephone? The man who's sitting down? No, the one standing next to the desk. Oh, that's Harry. Can you see the girl who's writing in her diary? Yes. What's her name? She's called Helen. She looks very happy. Yes, she is. Because tomorrow is Saturday, and she doesn't have to work. Now listen to part one again. Who's that woman? Where? She's putting something in the bin. Oh yes, that's Sarah. Oh, that looks better. I like a tidy office. And that's my friend Betty. Where? What's she doing? Her scissors have fallen on the floor, and she's picking them up. Oh yes, I can see her. That's William over there. The man who's working on the computer? Yes, the man in the green shirt. His job looks interesting. Who's that talking on the telephone? The man who's sitting down? No, the one standing next to the desk. Oh, that's Harry. Can you see the girl who's writing in her diary? Yes. What's her name? She's called Helen. She looks very happy. Yes, she is, because tomorrow is Saturday, and she doesn't have to work. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, everyone. Please listen carefully, because I'm going to tell you some important things about our school camping trip to the lake this weekend. First. We are going to meet at Kirby Bridge. Write this in your books, please. That's K I R B Y. You all know that place, don't you? Yes, Miss. Can you see the answer?
Now you listen and write. Next, the time. Can we meet at half past eight? Oh, that's very early. No, it isn't. You start school at that time every day. Okay. <laughs> What do we have to take with us, Miss? Well, we'll only be there for two days, so don't bring a heavy suitcase. But you will need a small rucksack. My brother's got one. I can use his. Shall we bring some food with us? No, you don't need any because we can buy some at the shop in the village. But please bring a plastic plate with you. Okay. What about a torch, Miss? Yes, that's very important because there aren't any lights in our tents. <laughs> Now, what else? I know the farmer is going to let us use the showers at the farm. Isn't that kind? So, you will all need to bring a towel with you. Right. Is that everything? Yes. So, see you all tomorrow. Okay. Bye, Miss. Now listen to part two again. Next, the time. Can we meet at half past eight? Oh, that's very early. No, it isn't. You start school at that time every day. Okay. <laughs> What do we have to take with us, Miss? Well, we'll only be there for two days, so don't bring a heavy suitcase. But you will need a small rucksack. My brother's got one. I can use his. Shall we bring some food with us? No, you don't need any because we can buy some at the shop in the village. But please bring a plastic plate with you. Okay. What about a torch, Miss? Yes, that's very important because there aren't any lights in our tents. <laughs> Now, what else? I know the farmer is going to let us use the showers at the farm. Isn't that kind? So, you will all need to bring a towel with you. Right. Is that everything? Yes. So, see you all tomorrow. Okay. Bye, Miss. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. All the people in Emma's family go to work in different ways. How does each person go to work? Oh, I was late for college this morning. The traffic was terrible. I know, but it's easy for my aunt to get to work in the mornings. She's a nurse, and the hospital isn't far from her flat, so she goes to work by bicycle each day. Can you see the letter D? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. My cousin is a footballer. Wow! Which team does he play for? I don't know. I think football's boring, but I know it's a famous one. He just bought a helicopter and he uses it to go to all the matches. He's very rich. My brother's an engineer. Have you met him yet? No. Where does he work? He's working on an island this month. You can only get there by boat, so it's exciting for him to go there every day. I think he wants to work there in the future too, if he can. My uncle's a journalist, and he works for a newspaper in the city. He loves his job, but there's always a lot of traffic there too. But he's got a motorbike and uses that to get to work. It's better than a car. I agree. What about your sister? I met her once, I think. Alex? Oh, she's got a very good job in town now. She's a dentist. She takes the eight o'clock train to work. There is a bus, but it's too slow for her.
My mother is living with us now, but she still goes to work too. She never stops. What does she do? She's an actress, so she has to work at different theatres. When she goes to work, she prefers to take taxis. They're much quicker and easier for her, and she likes talking to the drivers. Now listen to part three again. My cousin is a footballer. Wow, which team does he play for? I don't know. I think football's boring, but I know it's a famous one. He just bought a helicopter, and he uses it to go to all the matches. He's very rich. My brother's an engineer. Have you met him yet? No. Where does he work? He's working on an island this month. You can only get there by boat, so it's exciting for him to go there every day. I think he wants to work there in the future too, if he can. My uncle's a journalist, and he works for a newspaper in the city. He loves his job, but there's always a lot of traffic there too. But he's got a motorbike and uses that to get to work. It's better than a car. I agree. What about your sister? I met her once, I think. Alex. Oh, she's got a very good job in town now. She's a dentist. She takes the eight o'clock train to work. There is a bus, but it's too slow for her. My mother is living with us now, but she still goes to work too. She never stops. What does she do? She's an actress, so she has to work at different theatres. When she goes to work, she prefers to take taxis. They're much quicker and easier for her, and she likes talking to the drivers. That is the end of part three. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. Which is Katie's new house? Hello, Katie. Did you have a nice weekend in your new house? Yes, thanks, Mr. Brown. It's got a great garden with some big trees for me to climb. Oh, what else has it got? It's got a lovely balcony too. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One, where is Katie's new house? Is your new house in the town near our school, Katie? No, it's in the countryside. In a village? No, there aren't any other houses near us. Two. What's Katie's new bedroom like? My new bedroom is very nice. I've got a desk in it. I can do my homework there. Have you got a television too? No, but I've got a CD player. I love listening to music. That sounds nice. Three. What does Katie's dad do? My dad works at home now. Oh, is he a businessman? No, he's a photographer. He takes pictures for magazines. Oh, that's an interesting job. Four. What is Katie going to have for supper? I'm going to make supper tonight. Oh, what are you going to make? Can you make pizza or soup? No. I can't make those things. I'm going to make a salad. Lovely. Five. What time is Katie's mum going to come home tonight? Where does your mum work, Katie? She works in a shop. She usually comes home at five o'clock, but tonight she's going to be late. Why is that? On Thursdays, the shop closes at six o'clock. So she gets home at half past six. Now listen to part four again. One, where is Katie's new house?
Is your new house in the town near our school, Katie? No, it's in the countryside. In a village? No, there aren't any other houses near us. Two, what's Katie's new bedroom like? My new bedroom is very nice. I've got a desk in it. I can do my homework there. Have you got a television too? No, but I've got a CD player. I love listening to music. That sounds nice. Three, what does Katie's dad do? My dad works at home now. Oh, is he a businessman? No, he's a photographer. He takes pictures for magazines. Oh, that's an interesting job. Four, what is Katie going to have for supper? I'm going to make supper tonight. Oh, what are you going to make? Can you make pizza or soup? No, I can't make those things. I'm going to make a salad. Lovely. Five. What time is Katie's mum going to come home tonight? Where does your mum work, Katie? She works in a shop. She usually comes home at five o'clock, but tonight she's going to be late. Why is that? On Thursdays the shop closes at six o'clock, so she gets home at half past six. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Would you like to color this picture of a book? Yes, please. What's it about? It's about some people who are trying to win some money in a competition. The first person who arrives at the pyramids wins. Oh, can I color the biggest pyramid? Yes, you can color it yellow. Can you see the yellow pyramid? This is an example. Now you listen and color and write and draw. One. Can you see the camel on the right? The one that's lying down. Yes. It looks very tired. Shall I color it? Yes, color it brown. Two. Would you like to write something? Excellent. Can you see the name of the book? Hmm. There's a word missing. The book is called Race to the Pyramids. Write the missing word, please. Three. And now for some drawing. Can you see the woman with a bike? Yes. What's she doing? It's broken, and she's pushing it. She looks hot. Shall I draw a hat on her head? Yes, and then color it pink. Four. Now, can you see the flag? The one next to the camel? No, the one between the pyramids. Okay. Color it green. Five. Last, I want you to find the woman who's riding a horse. I can see her. She's wearing a long dress. That's right. Can you see her scarf? Yes. Well, color it blue. Great. She's winning the race, I think.
Now listen to part five again. One. Can you see the camel on the right? The one that's lying down. Yes. It looks very tired. Shall I color it? Yes. Color it brown. Two. Would you like to write something? Excellent. Can you see the name of the book? Hmm. There's a word missing. The book is called Race to the Pyramids. Write the missing word, please. Three. And now for some drawing. Can you see the woman with a bike? Yes. What's she doing? It's broken, and she's pushing it. She looks hot. Shall I draw a hat on her head? Yes, and then color it pink. Four. Now, can you see the flag? The one next to the camel. No, the one between the pyramids. Okay. Color it green. Five. Last, I want you to find the woman who's riding a horse. I can see her. She's wearing a long dress. That's right. Can you see her scarf? Yes. Well, color it blue. Great, she's winning the race, I think. That is the end of the flyers' practice listening test too.